I was part of an all-female hackathon team for Tech Week LA. Um, we, I came up with a really cool idea for us to build and we stayed awake for 24 hours and built our web app from the ground up and we won second place. Over the last year, I've been to about four hackathons that I can think of off the top of my head and I won two of them. And I really think that hackathons are a great opportunity, especially for, for new people in the development community, to be able to get some experience working with other people, to be able to, to network and, and meet other people that are in that community, but also just to just get down and, and build something, because that's the number one way that you're going to learn how to, how to do this and that you're going to improve yourself, is to actually commit yourself to just sitting down and building things. And hackathons put you in an environment that's perfect for that. Hackathons are intense. They're a great experience because a lot of times when you are dealing with non-technical people at work, they don't care how well something works. They don't really care what's going on underneath the hood of their car. They just want to know, well, is it running? I don't really care you know, what special things that you put in there, if you paid extra for the whatever. I just want to know, does my car run right now? And so that's kind of the concept behind a hackathon. So I've participated in now five. I've only won two. And for some odd reason, it's actually both two out of one have been with Savio, so they might be a winning factor. So uh, one of the things that happened at the hackathon was everybody in the audience proceeded to tell me that the idea was, was worth it, was something to, that I should proceed with. And I had plans to bring it to the mobile platform, but obviously I'm not a mobile developer. And we have learned mobile development in um, an IDE that still allows us to write C Sharp, which is our language of choice. And the beauty of this is that this app can now be released on all three platforms because this IDE is able to convert it into each of the three languages to run on Windows, Android, and iOS. The app will hopefully be released shortly, I'm hoping a month out, and I just think that the fact that I can do that is pretty much the coolest thing ever. So I have talked with fellow developers who say, man, I always get bogged down at work because I'm spending too much time on this one thing and I don't know how to, how to get past or get over the hump or, or tell myself, okay, I need to stop working on this now and work on something else. And I was like, man, you got to go to a hackathon. That's exactly where you learn the skills because you have 48 hours to build something. And if you don't get it done in 48 hours, well, you can have the most beautiful line of code in the world, but if it doesn't run, it's not going to do anybody any good. And that one experience uh, pretty much triggered it. It allowed me to see uh, the beauty of a hackathon, because not only one are you competing to try to create an idea, but you're also competing with your own skills. You're seeing in the smallest period of time, how much can I actually get things done? And, and that's what fascinated with me. And since then, I'm always an advocate for people to go to hackathons, because that challenge, once you learn that it's a challenge of skill first, and then a challenge of idea, uh, it becomes fun.